Did you ever want to be grown up and think you was like a kid in a candy store but they wasn't selling bacon? Hey, we got you fixed up because we are candying some bacon. Pig candy, you won't have to go to the store. You can get it right here. It's oh so easy and oh so good, but it's a little spicy. Come on, I'll let the pig squeal. Good morning and welcome to the backyard. Yep, morning. I don't know when it is when you're watching this, but ooh, God has blessed us with a beautiful morning. And what are we talking about? Pig candy, candied bacon, 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 and more bacon. But we're going to give it a glaze, just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of flavor. Mm, this stuff is better than beef jerky. You can carry it around in your pocket anytime you want. Everybody in the whole town will follow you around because they'll be going, ah, is, that, is that bacon I smell? Yay! Hey, it is the best thing. So easy. We're going to walk you through every bit of it. And ooh, I am so ready for this. And so let's talk about some candied bacon. Whew. Candied bacon. But whoops, I left out a very important word. What are we talking about? Candied bacon jalapeno bacon because i like it to have a little bite y'all know the cowboy gonna throw some heat in there if he gets a chance but who is the star of the show it's not me it's not the beagle no is it major no it's not even major who it is <laughs> it is my favorite friend the hog yeah thick cut bacon uh-huh see right there thick cut Ooh. now if you want to do this and make it even better and kick it up a notch or two over the top of the flavor ladder, just go ahead and use our cured bacon recipe that you can make right there at home. Then you can slice that stuff as thick as you want on your own accord, and mm, it is really good. But I be looking around here, Shin. Guess we're going to have to go to the garden and get a jalapeno. Sorry about that, Andy and Shan. But you viewers, y'all just go with me because we're going to go pick one. Wait, wait, wait. i got to follow you. Jalapeno. Now, I just need two for this. And I mean, look, at, those little look guys. at this little fella here. He's just sitting down there. Mm. Heat for the treat. Whew. Thank y'all for going to the garden with me and picking them little jewels. Mm -mm. Now, you'll be careful when you're handling jalapenos. Remember, don't scratch your eyes or your butt. Both of them going to set you into one of them. I want to cry moods, I promise you. But get you one of them slap choppers, whatever you got, and just dice them up really good. Now, I was running me some experimentation on how I wanted to get the heat into this bacon a little. Now, I tried me some of that, you know them diced pickled jalapenos and poured some of the juice in there, a little bit of the jalapeno and let them soak, you know, 45 minutes. And then I tried just putting the peppers in there with some what? We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. Some Worcestershire. What's your sister sauce? That's what everybody tell me to call it. And I need to know what y'all do call it. Do you call it the W sauce? What? It's Lee and Perrins. This is what I call Justin Wilson's favorite elixir right here. And we're going to use whatever was in the bottle. Now, I do know <laughs> what was in the bottle was exactly two and a half tablespoons. Uh-huh. I do know that for sure. Now, I want you to just go ahead and just rake them jalapenos over in there. And then we're just going to stir it around the bottom of the pan. We're going to have to get our hands in there. And if you want to, because you might be sensitive to the heat to them jalapenos, get you some of them rubber gloves. Now, let's talk about, remember, thick cut bacon. Now, I like it to be at least that thick, but I would even like it thicker if they wanted to cut it. That's why I really like to use our bacon video and go ahead and cut this stuff to where it is what? Let me just show you about doubled in size Ooh, really? this way when you have it sure it was going to make you a longer cook time but you're going to have more to chew on and more flavor so just get you some in there and then we want you to just to just mash them around get all that goodness in there the recipe is for one pound of bacon you make as much as you want but however much you make ain't there gonna be enough i promise so bear with me we'll get these soaking and after you get all this on them and all the bacon done we're gonna let it sit in the icebox about 45 minutes. We gotta stop right there. What? I'm still getting people saying, what is an icebox? Uh. I mean, icebox terminology come back from way back in the early 1900s, maybe late 1890s, where you had a wooden box and a man was driving a little wagon down the road, which was called what? An ice wagon. And he would take the tongs and bring it in there to the house, set it in the icebox, shut it there, and you would have what? 
refrigeration. Now today it is called the fridge, refrigerator, something like that, but it's ice box is what we're gonna call it here. I just wanted to make that explanatory to you. Well, we got a cup of brown sugar. Now you could be using white sugar, but no, light brown sugar is what we're after. Just regular old table sugar, you could make it work on here, but it ain't gonna give you that glaze that you really need and that caramelization. So get the light brown sugar, dump her in there. Over here on this side, we have some onion powder and some garlic powder. But guess what Kent puts in his also? Whew, a little bit of cinnamon, cause we're talking about candied bacon. Uh-huh. So just go ahead and dump her in there. I want you just to get it sort of mixed up and you're gonna have to get back in there with your hands again because we don't want this to be all clumping up. Now you can do this one of two ways now. You can go ahead and add your coarse ground black pepper or you can sprinkle it on at the last. Me, I do neither. I go half in, oh. half out. This way I know that everybody's gonna get some and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little more on there. Now, since this is mixed up and the bacon's in there sitting and loving, I get a lot of people asking, Fogo charcoal. Why do you like this Fogo charcoal and what is it? Well, it's a hardwood lump that is burnt so long, a piece of wood, and then starved from oxygen, and then shipped to Cowboy Kent Rollins, or wherever you may be across the United States or Canada. This is what I usually use most of the time. All right, you can see where this says super premium, you know, and then we have premium. Now, the super premium, it's been sort of hand-picked with a whole lot of bigger pieces in here than what you would call this here. But you can see, it's still pretty good size. Are they paying me for this video? No, I'm just telling you it's good stuff, get you some. The hog has come back out here. Now, if you're doing this in the house, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, go ahead and preheat that oven to about 375. And folks, this is a very important part if you're gonna do it inside or outside. Now, me, I got the hasty bake fired up here. Got me some good hardwood lump in there. And we're gonna add a little smoke to it as we go. But if you look on the sack, that bacon will say hickory smoked or some kind of smoked bacon. I'm not trying to give it a whole lot of smoke. I'm just gonna add a little apple to it right there at the last. So let's go ahead and take this hog out of there. You can shake him, you can rake him, whatever you wanna do. But that's what I'd call about the right amount. And you can see that green in there, a glistening little, that good jalapeno done done it all. So you're taking some of the jalapeno off? Yes. Gotcha. Now you can leave it on there if you want to go like this. <laughs> so go ahead and lay her out here because we need to get everybody in their position. I'm going to start with the seasoning we mixed up. And I just need you to sprinkle just right down the center. Come all the way down through there because folks, we can gonna add some more. You gotta get that brown sugar mashed down in there all the way because we want it to stay a hold and make things sweet and caramelized. Done and done it is, guess what? We're we gonna just cover this up with a little piece of aluminum foil or cup towel, whatever you got, and just leave it on the counter for about 15 and 20 minutes till you make sure that that grill is heated, cleaned and oiled, and I'll meet you back at the fire. Greased, old, ready to go. You see me put a little apple wood in there because I just want a little more of that flavor of that smoke. Now you can do this in the house, remember, but if you do, you're cooking it just like this right here, sliding it right in there on the, the wire rack in the pan. And for easier cleanup, if I was you, I'd put me some foil in that pan because that caramelization, it'll stick down there to that pan. All the heat's on this end, okay? Now you could cook this over direct heat, but ha, uh, you're gonna burn it up too quick. So I just need you to go down here and lay it on this end. And remember, if you be looking for these recipes, hey, it'll be listed down there in the little link below, or just go to our west, Whippy. go to our website. Yeah, you know what it is, Shan? It's www.kentrollins.com. There's a lot of great recipes, tips and tricks. Even that home cured bacon recipe is on there. So. We're gonna put these on here. We're gonna look for a cook time of close to 20 to 25 minutes.
Ooh, doggies. That's what we're talking about, doggies. They're all <laughs> laying everywhere waiting for some bacon. Yeah, everybody do love some bacon. Mm, ain't that a pretty sight? I mean, it's good when it stands up. Uh-huh, pig candied bacon. I'm talking don't get no better than that. Now, crispy wise, you can cook as little or as less as you want. You may think that little looks or a little. As long as you want, maybe say. Uh huh. A little or as long as you want. Uh huh. <laughs> We've had a lot. Hey, the bacon is about to be served. We have bacon. Now, that bacon down there had some jalapeno on it, but Dad always thinks of his children. Sadie, it's coming. So the one that has been here the longest, folks, and that is to be. Clarify, this is not jalapeno bacon. No, this is just right straight out of the package, cooked on the grill there to last. And the beak says, "Dad, I am ready." I don't care how you clarify it. So there you go, buddy. Say, look like you're right there. And here is the duker. Where, where's my little favorite major? Mage, mage, mage. There you go. We'll save one for later. Now then. Oh my God, Jesus, thank you for a beautiful day and the ability to cook. And I'm going to tell you what, Jesus, them jalapenos out of the garden are sort of hot. Oh my goodness. The first taste you get of this, folks, is like, I'm having Christmas ham right here. I mean, it's got that good sugary coating, but then you get that black pepper and that jalapeno just reaches out there and bites your taste buds right in the back. Make your tongue do like this, make you want to do it. <laughs> Bacon, bacon, I love bacon. It be what I'm gonna be making. Woo! Bacon meter on high again today. Woo wee. Mm, that is some delicious stuff. Folks, this recipe is so easy. You can do it inside or outside. Just go ahead and buy about 40 pounds of bacon because you're gonna need it. You're gonna eat this stuff up so quick. But don't forget to try it on a salad, on a hamburger, on a sandwich. Mm, so, so good it is. Now, I need you to be keeping an eye on the website, I do, because we got some things coming up this fall that you might be interested in participating. I'll be at Silver Dollar City in October. Keep your eye on that. But also, I'll be in Tulsa. Right before that, we're going to do a book signing at Hasty Bake. So y'all be sure and check that out. We'll have all that stuff listed and ready to go. And remember, everything that we used in this video will be down there in the little description below. But hey, don't forget to check out Bertha. Ooh, brand new Bertha out there running all across the country on her wheels because she's easy to move around. Folks, it is the Cadillac of cooking. To Shan, my beautiful wife, I love you so much, Sugar. Thank you for always making me look better. For my puppies, whew, they are the greatest thing ever. I tip my hat to all our service men and women and veterans and all those who have kept us safe for so many years and kept that flag flying above camp no matter where me and Shannon be. We salute you and God bless you very much. To the rest of you, come on in. Y'all know what it is. Andy's playing a little music like it's coming to an end. Give me a hug. God bless you each and every one. And guess what? I'm going to see you down the candied bacon, pig bacon trail. We have bacon subjects. Well, are in town. Everybody <laughs> said, whoa, bacon is here. Are you ready? Major, are you ready? <laughs> rap, speaking of the rap, we're going to do the bacon rap. It's all about taking the bacon, bacon before you have to take a nap. <laughs> Some, I, <laughs> but it's, it's sort of hit me, Shan. I hope you don't mind.